Hello everyone, welcome back to another Python tutorial. And this time I'll be explaining the NumPy function, linspace. So first of all, we have to import NumPy. And most of the time people do it with an as np. That's its nickname. Because in NumPy, the n and the p are capitalized, so you can just call it np. And now we can set a variable equal to the function we're going to create. So we'll have linspace, I guess, will be the name, equals np.linspace. And you can press tab, auto complete. And now there's a couple of parameters here. So the first one is start equals something. So let's set it to zero. And then end, or I think it's stop equals to whatever number you like. Uh, but you can think of it as the end of whatever uh, list you're trying to create. And then num is the other important one. So this is how many points you want in total between the start and the stop. And that's inclusive, by the way. So if you did two, if you did num equals two, then it would just be the, the return value would just be uh, zero and 50 or whatever you set to start and stop. Now let's print that out and let's see what we get. All right, so we got zero and 50 inside of this array structure. Now let's try to make some uh, more numbers. Let's just do a gradual increase. So if you do three, then we get one point in between and that's at 25. And remember that the two, the start and the stop are inclusive. So they count as two inside of num. So like if you did gradual increases, let's say you went to five this time, or I think it would be better if you did four for now. Uh, what would happen? It splits into four points and it divides it by three basically. So it's num minus one. That's how much it divides it by. That's how much each is, each point is going to be spaced apart from the other. So that's very nice to know. So let's say we want to do each one spaced apart by 10. So that's five, I mean 50 divided by five. So we have to do num equals six with the logic I explained earlier. Yeah. So you get six points and remember that the first one and the last one, they count as two. So that's why we have to do six instead of five. If you do five, it's just going to be some repeating decimals. No, actually, it's just going to be divided by four. And uh, linspace is quite useful because it gives you a nice distribution that you can see easily. Uh, you can get the average like spacing out as well as the average value and then create a lin space based on that if you have an irregular data set with any missing values. Like you can take all the numbers, sum them together, and then you can divide by the amount of the numbers to get the average. And you can use a lin space to actually run some machine learning algorithm on it. Mostly useful for um, line separators. And I might explain that in the future. So. That's it for this video. And again, linspace is used to create an array with an equal distribution with as many values in between as you like. So hope you guys learned something. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time.